Hello, you're in the kitchen with Donna tonight and I'm making some salve. Well, I'm making comfrey salve for some family members. So I've got some comfrey leaves that I've ground up here in the, in this grinder. In this food, little chopper food processor. And I'm straining out the big particles. And while I make some comfrey salve, since some of the ingredients in the comfrey salve is also in the gardener's salve, I'm going to show you how to make a gardener's salve tonight. Because this time of the year, we really need a gardener's salve. I'm a gardener, and there is nothing that tears your hands up quite like gardening. I'm a gardener that doesn't like to wear a lot of gloves either because... I love to feel the dirt and the leaves, and I love to feel what I'm planting as part of the therapy of gardening for me. And I know, I know there's plenty of people out there like that. So, tonight I'm just going to make a gardener's salve and share it with you. So, if, you're, if you too like to uh, garden, and the gardening is rough on your hands, I'll share this salve recipe with you, and it's something you can whip up. Well, I've just sifted my comfrey. This is what my big particles, and I'm not going to throw these big particles away. I'm going to save these, and I'm going to put them in a fractionated coconut oil and make an oil infusion with the comfrey. And this is the finely powdered comfrey that I've strained through that strainer so that I can mix it with my salve. Now, I just measure the comfrey by the leaves. This is, this is a a bundle so it had about 15 to 20 little leaves in it so I'm going to count that as 10 medium sized leaves and then that's the amount I'll need to make this salve. Now I've got a scale here because I'm going to tear out the beeswax. I'm going to measure it out because we need one ounce of beeswax to each cup Of, of oil. I'm going to use coconut oil, but you can use whatever oil you use as your choice. There we go. Now that's one ounce of beeswax. So I'm going to go ahead and measure these out. I'm going to go ahead and put them over here in this little double boiler that I've got going. And I'm going to add my cup of fractionated coconut oil. Now one ounce of beeswax to one cup of the oil of your choice makes an excellent salve. It makes an excellent consistency for a salve. And you can make it into any kind of salve you want one ounce of beeswax to one cup of oil and then you can add whatever herb or whatever um, essential oils that you want to to make it have the properties that you're looking for in this case we're going to we're looking for the healing soothing properties for a gardener's hands you know when you are a gardener and you um, are working to that level with tools and planting and plants and uh, it can take a toll on your hands you can have little scratches and things well we're going to just put together a salve
that'll soothe that when you come in and you know when you are a gardener you wash your hands a lot this will also soothe soothe that Okay, we have our beeswax, our ounce of beeswax, and our cup of oil melted together here. And I'm going to take one teaspoon of this powdered comfrey. And I'm going to add it to that melted beeswax and cup of fret. Uh, fractionated coconut oil and I'm going to incorporate that and I'm going to go ahead and turn that off now I've got a cup I mean a, an amber jar here you can use, you can buy amber jars, or you can save one. The bakers out here will recognize this jar. It's active dry yeast. These are good amber jars to save and put salve in. Now there'll be little particles floating around in here of the comfrey because you know it was powdered. But I'm going to go ahead and fill this jar up. And I have just a little bit of salve left in there. To this jar I'm going to add four drops a thymol. Thymol is oil of thyme. Now that's what I would have in my comfrey salve if I was making comfrey, just comfrey salve. But I'm going to add a little bit of lemongrass to it. I'm going to add six drops of lemongrass. Now I put the uh, essential oil directly into the container instead of adding it into the pot because I wanted it all to be in this jar. And if I had added it to the whole salve there before I poured it, there would be some of it sticking on the side of that little pot and I wanted it all to go into this jar. And now I'm stirring this salve with this little chopstick that I've got or this little... Uh, skewer to make sure that thyme oil and that lemongrass oil is uh, incorporated thoroughly into the beeswax and fractionated coconut oil and the comfrey. Now there we go. I'm just going to let that sit there and cool off and then we'll put our label on it and that'll be four ounces of gardener's salve. Now this gardener's salve, I put it in a pretty good sized jar instead of one of these little ones because unlike healing ointment that we make from the comfrey for scratches and stuff, you wouldn't, uh, you don't need as much as that, but when you've got a gardener's salve and you've got somebody that's working in a garden and washing their hands every day, they might want to apply this right after they wash their hands or they might want to apply it before they go to bed to help your hands heal and it, the lemongrass makes it smell really good. Well here's our beautiful gardener's salve. We'll put the lid on that and put a label on it.
and I'll have that when I come in out of the garden. Thank you for joining me today, and like always, until next time. If you give Gardener Saf as a gift, it's a good idea to include a card that's got the ingredients. You always want to let people know what, what's in whatever you make so they can make the choice or in case they have any allergies. So just include a, uh, an ingredient card or a recipe card in your gift. And if you're making it for yourself, enjoy it. It's, it's a good thing in life. It's a benefit. <laughs>